Welcome to another dose of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm David Palmquist. Our passage today is 1 Peter 3.12. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. Grandma needed a cane, and she needed a friendly arm to hold on to, to help her walk. And so a good grandson helped her get from church to the Bible study room. It was a slow progress, slow enough for her to recite several stanzas of What a Friend We Have in Jesus in a conversational sort of way between her painful steps. She wasn't about to bear any needless pain when she could take even this short walk to God in prayer. Grandma shakes her head, though, when she tells about a nephew who sat with her in the hospital room some time ago. Your doctor doesn't seem very confident, her nephew said. He was praying before your operation. Her nephew didn't appreciate the privilege of prayer or the power of God who listens to prayer like that doctor. Oh, what a peace we often forfeit. What peace and comfort the nephew was forfeiting. What peace we forfeit by failing or forgetting or even fearing to pray. How needless, right? The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, the believers, and his ears are attentive to their cry, 1 Peter 3.12. When we cry out, Jesus doesn't turn away at the sight of our sins. He doesn't ignore our problems. He doesn't wonder about how to deliver us. With the alert love of a parent attuned to the child's cry, Jesus responds. He deposits our sins at his cross, lifts our cumbersome load of care, and supports our every step with the strong arm of his word. Whatever burdens you have, take them to the Lord in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus, we sing, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. As Grandma knows, with all her might, you will find solace there. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you to pray that you would give us strength and humility to come to you in prayer and to hear whatever it is you speak to us, to rejoice in your love as well as to hear about the wisdom and clarity to know how to respond in words and actions. Help us then always to pray to our Savior so that we receive solace, we receive his peace, we receive the comfort of our Savior Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining us today for Daily Hope from God's Word. Please remember to press like, click share, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, the Lord said, Do not be afraid. I have called you by name. You are mine.